The United Nations has declared the year 2021 to be the year of peace and trust, which is fair enough for them, and I hope to God it has some kind of impact on the rest of the world. But for you and me, perhaps there's a message here that we can grab because maybe we can develop enough peace and enough trust within ourselves for that to have an impact on the rest of the world, and maybe it will come true that it is a year of peace and trust. So we've got to do something about it. My suggestion to you is you take those two words and ask yourself, what can you do with them by generating more peace and more trust within yourself? And I'm not really talking about peace and trust directed towards others. Let's look at them one at a time. Peace, What does that mean for you? Essentially, less war. How do we interpret that? My interpretation from working with people all day, every day, is most of us are at war with ourselves. We're constantly critical of ourselves. We judge ourselves. We bag ourselves. We give ourselves a hammering. If I was to say, who is your worst enemy? That's the person you see when you look in the mirror. We could develop some more inner peacefulness directed at ourselves. Less war, so to speak, would be a beautiful thing for you to have and a beautiful thing for you to extend to the people that you love and the people that you care about. Being more peaceful, being less at war with yourself may be the greatest gift you've given or ever give the people that you love the most. Trust, where do we go with that? More trust of self. How do we do that? More following your own guidance. When it comes to following your own guidance, my experience is that most people struggle to develop high levels of self-trust, to follow their own way, to go their own path, to make their own decisions, to, to march to the beat of their own drum, to follow their guidance. How do we do more of that? Well, I've got a secret for you and it's probably not going to surprise you. More peace. You see, the more you go within, the more inner peacefulness you build within yourself, then the more you get to know you, the more you connect with your inner spirit, the more you hear the inner whisperings of your inner guidance in whatever format that turns up. The simplest message for that, pretty simple. Mindfulness, meditation, yoga, camping, prayer, whatever works for you, whatever is revitalizing and refreshing, that's a thing that's going to bring you more inner peace and that's a thing that's going to bring you more inner trust. Here's the thing. You can decide that you're going to do that. You can decide, okay, more ringing mum, more family gatherings, more eating healthy, more whatever it is. But you know what? Until it's in the diary... My experience is it doesn't happen. So more? Yeah, sure. Good. What's the plan for how you get more? Specifically, if you're going to be eating less, well, how are you going to do that? When are you going to do that? What are you going to eat? When are you going to eat it? If there's more camping, okay, good. Where are you going camping? When are you going camping? Who's going with you? Until it gets into the diary, it's a bit of a smoke dream and it's not something that's actually going to happen. So... Let's make the year 2021 the year where you put you in your diary.